Hello and welcome to this video series about the basics of the Bottega method. One of the topics which I have heard many times uh, from questions of our students as well as uh, in discussions of practitioners, uh, Bottega teachers 5, 10, 15 years ago, uh, relates to the following questions, relatively of course uh, on the one hand simple but at the same time <laughs> very complex question, what is the essence, essence of the Bottega method? And uh, I've heard practitioners who would say that, oh, I remember when I was in the 1990s, Dr. Buteka trained us as like many practitioners in uh, Moscow in, in Soviet times, like in, in, in Russia. Uh, the person would say, well, Dr. Buteka said actually that the maximum poses was the essence of the method. So this is what this person heard, Dr. Buteka said that. And at other times, I would hear that other practitioners would say in New Zealand, Dr. Buteik was talking and like also a, a discussion arise and somebody asked like about the, like what is the kind of most important core, the foundation, the essence of the Buteik method. And Dr. Buteik says, well, we have to breathe less all the time. So people, oh, have you heard that he told it? We have to breathe less all the time. And at other times, people would say, oh, Dr. Buteika suggested that the sense of the method is about constant breath control. So if you control your breath all the time, then you kind of achieved, you, you uh, understood the sense and practice the sense of the Buteika breathing technique. So he said that, he said that, he said that, and sometimes, of course, these people have <laughs> arguments that everybody believes that this approach is more uh, important, more effective than others. And at the same time, uh, like we also know that, for example, in one of the documentaries, Dr. Buteka said to practitioners that practitioners should have more than 90% success rate in their students, and this is a good practitioner, so that's also somehow, I believe, relates to the Buteka method. So there are many, many kind of approaches to this, again, like on the one hand, simple, and at the same time, very complex question. But what I believe, uh, uh, like kind of my personal belief after like years of thinking about this topic is uh, kind of maybe a little bit unexpected turn even for myself. Like I realized, okay, he said that, he said that, he said that, and he said that. Okay, but what did he do himself? And we know that, for example, on some courses of practitioners and even like in New Zealand was also a similar story when Dr. Buteka visited and trained many practitioners, uh, of course, many years ago, like what's now, like 20 years ago, something around this uh, time. Uh, he trained practitioners and people ask like, okay, Dr. Buteka, what is your own <laughs> control pose? And so we did the test and Dr. Buteka had like two minutes and 40 seconds for the CP test, so two minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> so some people ask Dr. Buteka, what is your like, ordinary sleeping time? And we know that it was two hours. There's also an interview, which you can find on the, on, on the web website, normalbriefing.com, like there is a translated interview, where Dr. Buteka says that my normal sleep is two hours at night, like this is <laughs> what is natural state for his and so, like, going back to this topic, what is the essence of the Buteka method? We can think, okay, Dr. Buteka said this, and then he said this, and then he said this to this group of practitioners or students, and they say, oh, have you heard, like he said, we think about the essence of the method, but what he did himself, well, if we think about what he did, actually, it's right here on the table, he had health level 11 or 12, and that's why he had to holding time with the CP control pause about 2 minutes and 40 seconds and 2 hours of natural sleep. This is what people commonly experience at these health levels. And so <laughs> the answer probably would be then not uh, uh, thinking, we should not think about what he said to this group or this group or this group of people. We actually probably would be more logical for us to think about what he did rather than what he said. And so, in a way, like actually, it kind of later reminded me about certain sayings uh, from the Bible related to actually humans in order to enter the kingdom of God should become like children. And 
you know, because children, what we are driven by, we do not have like these ideas, he said, he said this, he said that, we have a mirror neurons, so-called mirror neurons, me, that means, well, we, we would hear what adults say to them, like what their parents and teachers and other people say to them, but they would do actually exactly what we did, not what we said. So, therefore, like, we can think about such quotes as, whoever does not welcome the kingdom of God like a little child will certainly not enter it. So, that it's, you should not listen to what Dr. Buteka said to this or this, or this practitioner, you need to think about what he did. Uh, there is another version of the same quote from New International Version. Truly, I'll tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child, child will never enter it. And the, one more version, and he said, Truly, I say to you, unless you will be converted and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. So that's my view on the equation of what is the essence of the Buddha method.